A young female is fortunate to have a functioning limb following a harrowing incident on Labor Day. Following a family gathering, the Castries resident was making her way home when her foot got lodged in a hazardous hole near the Grand River bus stop in Castries. The incident left the sixth grade student with significant bruising and pain, negatively impacting her school life. Saskia Eugene, the victim's mother, recounted this frightening incident. Yesterday afternoon, we were coming from the beach. We had a family day at the beach. And while we were walking, we were about to cross here yeah, to go home. And while my daughter was crossing here, her feet slipped and she went down into this hole there. Um, her foot got, her leg got stuck and then she started crying, Mommy, Mommy, my leg is stuck. So I went behind her, she was trying to pull it up. I told her, don't pull it up, lean back and try to pull the leg out of the hole. And eventually she was able to pull it up out of the hole. Um, but it got swollen, got bruised. Last night she was up with pain and fever because it was hurting. And then this morning I took her to the health center, Laclary Health Center, to see a doctor for the bruised leg. The concerned parent went on to advocate for urgent action to cover the hole, emphasizing the significant danger it poses to pedestrians in the area. Well, I think that that is a very dangerous hole. Um, thank God my daughter did not break her leg yesterday, but somebody else, she could have, somebody else could have, and it would have been worse for her because she's actually in grade six, she's writing exams in two weeks. Um, you can imagine if a broken leg, she would not be able to go to school to get ready for the exam. Um, I think that this hole needs to be covered and we have a lot of these holes in the city. I think that something needs to be done. I actually went to city council today after I came from the doctor. Um, thankfully, the officer was very helpful. I told him about the hole. I asked them, I asked that they cover it. And he did tell me, get the medication for the child and bring in my receipt so that they would reimburse what I spent on medication for the child. Um, but I think that it should not have to come to this, that these holes can be covered so that somebody else doesn't hurt themselves. Adding his voice to the concern was a Grand River bus driver known as Mr. Paul. The hole poses a hazard to the integrity of the public vehicles in the area. He also called on the authorities to address the situation promptly, emphasizing the potential risk it poses to pedestrians. It is, it is a hazard for, for, for school children, for, the, for our vehicles, if you, you can cut your tire between all this iron that day. So I think government should do something with that. The incident has sparked a broader discussion about pedestrian safety and the maintenance of public spaces in Castries, with many urging local government to prioritize these issues to ensure the well-being of its citizens. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sejis.